We're gonna go over one of the key secret components behind training for football, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in getting more explosive, you're interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna become a freak and dominate your opponents, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. So when we're training our elite football players, something that we like to characterize is defining what gets guys that we've trained to the NFL, what gets our best players to go sign with power five football schools every single year what gets guys to be all state football players every single year and what we've done is we've come up with a concept known as field strength so what is field strength it's something when we can get athletes and we can identify that they can cut on a dime at any position they can react very quickly they're game smart but they're also physically smart. They're physically able to make reads and to cut very, very quickly. They're also able to apply a ton of force in unilateral positions. So that might be a lineman posting up on somebody and then making a play with their free hand. That might be a linebacker trying to shed a blocker while still making the tackle on a running back. That's field strength. That's applied field strength. That's something that can be trained in the weight room. And that's a common misconception. A lot of these unique concepts are always slot to just be, oh, that guy's just a freak. But the thing is, that guy is a freak, but it can be trained. They're all skills that can be developed and focused on inside the weight room if your programming is properly developed. Now we're going to go into four key exercises that are going to help you develop that field strength as a football player. Now we talked about running backs. We talked about wide receivers, tight ends, posted up on somebody and making a catch. What can we do to train that? We can utilize dumbbell stiff arm benches, okay? So this is a movement that I love to utilize with my football players. This is a specific movement I developed directly for Jan Johnson, an athlete that went on to play for the Tennessee Titans. And what we did was we sat there and said, all right, he's a, he's a linebacker. He's gonna have real big linemen coming down on him. How can he post up and make plays? So now we're doing a dumbbell flat bench. We're sitting there and we're gonna be holding our dumbbells out and we'll press on our weak side first. Let's say we press for nine reps on our weak side first. We press for nine reps on our strong side second but we hold everything in that locked out position now that's going to train our dynamic trunk control that's going to train our entire upper body to fire together to coordinate in a unified position so that we can have our athletes understand how to utilize their body for different actions at the same time time and that's a really key concept here is that when you look at the most coordinated athletes in the world what separates them from the run-of-the-mill athletes is that they can do different muscular actions on opposite sides of the body at the same time so now we can take that concept and that recognition and apply it directly from the weight room onto the field so i recommend doing dumbbell stiff arm benches five six sets of nine on each arm now, when we're talking about field strength, we've mentioned that football players that have tremendous field strength, they can do things at one speed and then cut on a dime. They can explode very, very rapidly. And that's when our next exercise comes into play. This is an easy jump lunge. Then we'll hit some jump lunges into a pause. Let's say we do three jump lunges, then we pause and then explode very rapidly into box jumps or into hurdle hops or into stair jumps, whatever it might be. But we're doing a nice, patient, easy jumps We'll pause, hold that position, and then explode out as quickly as possible. It's something that I liken to when you see a running back go in motion and they're moving very slow, slightly, and then all of a sudden the ball snapped and they've got to turn it on. Now it makes it a little bit more difficult, more challenging to defend that player. So if you're a linebacker and you're not capable of turning on as quickly as a running back, you're screwed. So this is an exercise that you can do twice a week to try and improve your capability on the field. Be patient explosive you can hit these positions pause one two explode out of that so you do jump lunge jump lunge jump lunge and explode into a box jump series or into a hurdle hop series and it's gonna help you learn how to turn it up a notch and take your speed to that next level now going off of that first exercise that we utilize the dumbbell stiff arm benches we're gonna utilize a standing banded stiff arm with an upright row this is an exercise that I love to use because it's training very different qualities. 
if we're in a split position, in a unilateral position, and we're holding a band locked out, now we're squeezing in our trunk, we're feeling that trunk control. And the same time that we're in that split position, we can hit an upright row. We might hit an upright row holding towels so that we're working our grip isometrically and we're working our upper back. While we're doing that, we're engaging the trunk and we're engaging that lockout position. This is contralateral power development. It's teaching your body through an isometric action how to operate concentrically at the exact same time. Now our nervous system learns how to recruit effectively through those various planes through those various coordination patterns and that leads to domination on the field because you're more coordinated than your opponent. That's a huge factor to understand. When we're developing world-class football players, it's all about who is faster at coordinating. If I can get off the line faster, I win. If I can engage with an opponent and push and pull quicker, I win. It's all about that rate of coordination. I recommend doing this twice a week, finding a good strong band, posting up with the band, and then always doing a good strong concentric action with your opposing arm. Now another game changing factor behind field strength, rapid acceleration. We just talked about rapid coordination. How can I coordinate as quickly as possible to dominate my opponent? That's that next step. Acceleration. Not only am I gonna hit the hole faster, but I'm gonna hit the hole, bounce outside, even quicker because my acceleration is faster. Not, Not my, my acceleration, acceleration, but my running back's acceleration. acceleration. Take someone like Nick Singleton, who's been offered by Alabama. He can hit the hole very quickly, he can bounce outside, and he can take it to the house because he accelerates faster. He's got that Ferrari motor, and that's what we've got to think about. If we can take and hit the hole fast, we can post up on somebody quickly, hit that good stiff arm, and then accelerate out of that even quicker. That's field strength, okay? So how can we develop that? How can we develop that rapid acceleration? We use a movement called linebacker jerks, okay? So this is an exercise where we're gonna start in that quarter squat position. It's good for running backs, it's good for linebackers, it's good for D-backs. We get that tension set when we get under the bar. The bar is placed on the jerk boxes and we're saying we can start with light weight and we can get tension in the bar, hold, 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 and you can have an auditory command, you can have a clap, you can have a go, or you can just sit there and go one, two, explode and that rapid acceleration is gonna train your nervous system to fire very, very quickly. On top of that, if we get into a split position or a power-based position, now we have to absorb that weight overhead. That's gonna help us enhance our dynamic trunk control, and that's gonna to lead to domination on the gridiron because of our cultivation of field strength. Now, before we get into that number one exercise, if you need help with your strength training, if you need help developing field strength, you're listening to this going, this is great, but I need a, I need a program. I need something that's gonna help me get to that next level. I need to develop my field strength so that I can dominate my opponents. Click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up our how to get faster strength training program to help you specifically develop your field strength components so you can conquer all of your opponents in this coming season. Now that number one exercise for developing field strength, okay? I can hear the grumblings, you know, what is it, what is it, right? It's simple, it's very, very simple, and it's all about force absorption. One of the key components is that right off the snap, we are going to get hit. We're going to engage with a collision, with contact. And that's the whole thing with the sport of football. It's all about contact. But it comes down to, if I make contact on you, and you know how to use that contact against me, you're gonna win the battle, okay? Down in the trenches, you're gonna win the battle. Whoever learns how to handle that force, that energy application the best, wins the battle. So it's all about force absorption. The athlete who can absorb a tremendous amount of energy can reuse a tremendous amount of energy. Think about catching a heavy clean, heavy power cleans off of one box, off of two boxes, off the floor. We like to utilize these exercises for 12 to 15 sets of two to three reps on short rest. One of those key components is training the body to absorb a load, to absorb energy even while fatigued. How long's a quarter? 15 minutes. How long's a game clock? 30 seconds, right? 35 seconds, 40 seconds, depending on the level that you're playing at. So now, we put everybody on a game clock. Two reps, boom, boom. And then we give a game clock, 40, 45, 50 seconds. That might be our, our perceived game clock for that training session. And then they have to execute it again. And what's unique is that as they go through the sets, as the football players go through the sets, they get more focused on their technique. 
Now, they start to create technical coordination under fatigue. They start to absorb energy better under fatigue. That leads to a development of that field strength. So utilize power cleans, full cleans, go off of one box, go off two boxes, go off the floor. Make sure you're on the clock, okay? It's going to mimic what you're doing in season and it's gonna help you learn how to absorb force. It's going to help you create that technical coordination and that is how you develop field strength. So if you need help with a program, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up our How to Get Faster Strength Training Program. You can pick up any of our football-based programs. We have programs developed specifically for linemen, for specialty skilled players, for everybody to conquer all of their opponents. And if you want more content behind football-based training, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.